वेलकम टू केमिस्ट्री पॉपर बाय अभिषेक मिश्रा टुडे लेट डिस्कस द रेडिकल व्हिच इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर ओजोन लेयर डेप्लेशन फ्री रेडिकल इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द डेप्लेशन सो व्हाट इज फ्री रेडिकल अ फ्री रेडिकल इज एन एटम और ग्रुप ऑफ एटम विद एन अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड ड्यू टू दिस अनपेयर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन इट बिकम्स हाईली रिएक्टिव एंड पैरामैग्नेटिक it have three sigma bond due to this it is sp2 hybridized and its shape is trigonal planar it is called free radical because it is free from any charge so how it is formed if two atom with electronegativity difference less than 0.5 they share electron then a pure covalent bond is formed which is non polar so they behave like a good friend because neither the elect- atom pull the electron towards itself so how we are going to break down such a pure covalent bond or a good friendly one for this we need a helper helper it's an abbreviation for h stand for heat e stand for electrolysis l stand for light P stand for peroxide R stand for radical we use these five tricks or we call energy sources to break down such pure covalent bond and both the atom takes away their electron so there is no charge on any of the atom and free radical is formed now let's discuss the stability of free radical atoms in that we are going to take the example of halogens in halogen as we move down the group reactivity of free radical decreases but why there are two factors as we move down the group the atomic size increases and the presence of d orbital fluorine is very small in size and also it does not have vacant d orbital so it is not able to delocalize its electron and hence it becomes most reactive among the halogens and for other halogens when we move down the group the atomic size increases and number of d orbital also increases so they can easily do delocalize their electron in their vacant d orbitals and the reactivity of halogen decreases let's discuss the stability of molecule with the example of alkyl free radicals it depends on the number of alpha hydrogen greater the number of alpha hydrogen greater the number of hyper conjugation structure form and greater the stability tertiary free radical is more stable than primary secondary and methyl because it have maximum number of hydrogen so it form maximum number of hyper conjugated structure and it becomes most stable benzyl and allyl free radicals both are stabilized by resonance but benzyl is more stable than allyl why because benzyl form more number of resonating structure and greater the number of resonating structure greater greater is the stability of the molecule can you guess other elements that behave like free radical think fast and don't forget to like and subscribe